yep guys welcome to my channel it's room it's blade and in today's video i will show you how you can make a real mirror in prisma 3d so i am still learning english so my english is not that and you have to adjust a little bit and you might be hearing the fan noise because i can't do anything with that because here is uh, already the weather is very hot here let me show you like it's already 30 degrees and it's not even the full summer the summer is just started and if you know i just make a video on mirror effect some days ago like this is the project let me show you and we will recap it uh, recap it again i will show you again how you can how you can make this like let me just delete the animation also this like this is the uh, uh, this is our original animation if i play it like this 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 was the animation that i mirrored and here is the animation and if i suppose this is our mirror like this i am showing you this uh, i am showing this to you because we need this method again to make the real ca real mirror so let's suppose this is our mirror so how you can like mirror the animation so you will need a group first so let me group it and i will drag out it so we can we have the group here and now click on the mirror that you you have to make the mirror and then keyframe it and copy the keyframe <coughs> then click on group and paste the keyframe so our group will be thus at the same position as the mirror and same rotation don't do anything with rotation you just have to scale the group one by one 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 because if the scale is different from one 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 then it will be caused some problems so let's set the scale one 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 note that the group scale must have one 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 must be one 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 so now just copy the animation and if your anime and if your model that you have to mirror is already like if you in your model has some animation so just group it and then drag the group into the group that you already like here the group in this group and now we drag the uh, animation in the group so now in group in which direction the mirror would be appear the mirror effect will be appear so this is the animation so the mirror will be appear like in this position like this is the axis so let's check which is this so red axis means the x so set the x axis like scale x scale in minus one now the animation will be here like it's already like something like a mirror effect so let's hide this and play this animation so here you can see this is already make a mirror effect and if i just unhide this and set it like reflection so here now if i render it it will look like a mirror but here note that if i have some environment here so it will only be like look like a real mirror so how to mirror the environment this is the thing that i will show you today so we will need this group and we will need a camera like something like this so i will won't i will not show you this method in here i will show you it in a environment so let's go to back and here i have this jungle so here we will make our mirror let's just hide them so i can work properly and now let's make a mirror something like this please give your feedback on how like if you understand what i am talking about because i know i have i am uh, like my 
I am working on my like voiceovering because I know that I can't I can't talk in English properly because I have some problems while talking in it and let me know if you are understanding what I am talking about now let's like it will be like this and if I copy it once and delete this and then so oops change the reflection yeah and drag it into this okay this will be fine let's rename it in mirror mirror okay let's go and here i will un unhide them and set the mirror as you want let's set it here make it let's make it a little smaller like this a little adjustment now this is done so let's add a group again because if this is the mirror we have a group at the same position and a same rotation so here let's group it and drag the group out now let's copy the animation so keyframe it and copy the animation then again click so the animation will be deleted and let's put the animation on group by long pressing it and click on paste then again click on the clock icon so the animation will be disappeared i mean deleted and now set the scale of the group in 111 one, one again one again one and if you can see this is the axis of the reflection so the green one so which is the green one the green one is it's not showing oh i just set them to zero so i need to set them in one now it's one 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 so let's see which is the axis so it's y axis so let's put it in minus one already it doesn't matter if you put it at the first place or last now make your animation at first like i will set a camera take a camera and create a normal animation like something like at the zero frame here i will make a 10 second animation so let's go to like 300 frame frame because 30 frame per second so 10 second will be 300 frame no let's change the animation like at first it at first frame it will be here and at the last 
last frame it will something like here so the animation will be something like this so let's render it at first oh i need to like change the color background and i will take the dust effect i already show it how you can make it let's render it i will just stop the recording because it will take a lot of time so let's see after the rendering okay so the render is done you can see here it will be something like this so let's save it and we have to render this again and hide let me hide it we have to render this again but now you have to like select your just change the color of your mirror to green or maybe not because we already have a lot of green color here so let's change the color into blue maybe yeah this will be nice and now then let's render it again so let's i will see you after rendering it so the render is done here you can see now let's save the render and again here let's hide this and now we don't need the mirror so let's hide it later and before that now we have to drag the camera inside the group so if you can see here the camera has animation as i said before if your model has have animation so you have to group your model then drag it into the group but before that let's see if the group scale is right so let's set it one and now let's drag the group into the group now let's set the group group scale into minus 1 minus 1 okay now just mirror hide the mirror don't do anything with this just hide the mirror and render it again before that i have i have to like unhide the dust effect now let's render it again i will see you after after rendering it okay so the render is done now just save it and open a video editing app that you use i will use kinemaster here because i am comfortable with it and you can use any video editing app but they but they should have features like video layers blending and chroma key so now let's take the first first render here and this is the first render now we just have to make a layer and add the last render that we need like the mirror effect and i am using kinemaster here because i don't need to manually put the video like set the video on here i will just click the split screen and full screen it will be then it will automatically set on the screen and if you see here this clip is upside down so we have to flip this don't rotate the layer just flip it so there transform and flip where is the flipping option okay it will be flipped now and you can just decrease the opacity or go to blending and select a blending mode like multiply then again add a layer 
the second layer that we do like um, green skin i can say that it's something like blue skin now again set this on the full screen like split screen full and go to chroma key on the chroma key select dark blue color and adjust it a little bit because it's here you can do a thing like just in the second layer no you don't have to do that just adjust the third layer chroma key so it will be fine like this and now if i play this video clip here you can see it's it's quite good a mirror effect and it's working properly so this is how you can make a good like real life mirror in prisma 3d so if you like the video you know what to do and comment your feedback so we will meet again in next video bye